What is up guys, Pizza here, obviously, and today we are here with more Star Trek Infinite, the Cardassian Union campaign. Last time, we expanded a little bit, sent our science ships up here to do some stuff, became friends with the Tholian Assembly, became friends with the Romulans, and now have set our sights on the very, very small Trill. We are currently building up a military to fight them, and hoping we don't collapse the rest of our economy in the process. To do that, we currently have Dukat waiting in our main system with his fleet while we wait for a few other ships to show up. Uh, in the meantime though, there's this project at Lazon that we've just kind of been putting off since nearly the start of the game. So we're gonna go and handle that first. We're also probably gonna do some management with our systems here. We got quite a lot of energy credits, a lot of minerals right now. And it looks like there's a first contact that finished, although which one of these small powers, I'm not sure it is, because the Federation has a lot of small powers in it that we're just slowly, slowly coming into contact with. You also need to probably survey this system so we can start building out our empire a little more, which we'll need a construction ship for if I can find it. You've already finished up everything you need to do in that system, so why don't you go here, build outpost, then we can slowly build our way out to Gemini 774 and Iota Dente. We also have Amleth Prime over here, which we really haven't paid any attention to, but we're really close on running out of food, and as soon as we start pumping our military up a bit more and getting some more spaces in, that's going to be a little harder to keep up. So we're going to get some agricultural buildings in here, and probably throw in a replicator as well, because that also produces some food. That'll be important for us. And is there anything else we could use here? Uh... No, not really. And what we really need right now is some terraforming technology. Unfortunately, that's still a bit away. We're not even researching anything to do with it yet. But that's the thing. We've only got a few colonies, technically. The rest of these are a lot of uninhabitable planets, which is part of why we want to spread out this way to hopefully find something else that'll make our time worthwhile that we can spread some colonies to. Uh, but if we get terraforming as well, then we can take, like, this system would be great. A lot of these systems in here would be wonderful, wonderful to use. Of course, you know, if we take over Trill, Terraforming is going to take a back seat again as we try and colonize and bring in a new member of our empire. But in the meantime, we've still got a bunch of these, so let's just go ahead and build more energy districts on this planet. That's really, I think, what this place is going to be used for. Um, we could, let's go ahead and plunk down an administration office just because spread will eventually catch back up to us. Uh, commodities, they produce trade value, amenities, which we don't really need. There's nothing really there either that we'll need. You don't produce a whole lot of what I need. Amenities are just really by the wayside for us. However, a memorial monument wouldn't be so bad to add to our unity. We, we, if we've got a little bit more of that, we'll have an easier time advancing over everyone else. And re-education center... I don't think Cardassia 5 is in any danger of that. Is there anything in Cardassia Prime that we need right now? Uh, nope, we've got a lot of administration offices. It's a pretty stable world. So I'm not really too concerned with it. We Would a military base be anything kind of worthwhile? We've got the academy here, so I don't know. I don't think that'll be too worth it. Uh, crime is kind of on the rise. So, holding cells would be nice. It produces some things we don't really need. There's some science there that isn't really important either. Mm. Yeah, let's just go ahead and add more administrative offices. Is there anything we need here? We don't really want too many industrial districts. Uh, one food district. You know, this, this is a place, this is a city really more than anything else that we want to keep up with, so that's what that should be. Uh, but someplace we could is over here at Bejor. Are you come here? Let me click past every ship that is on you. Yeah, we are not making as much progress as I'd like. You need to be our breadbasket though, as well. And that's everything that we can do for right now. I think one thing I'm going to do as soon as I get more stuff is I'm going to put a re-education center or something down just to keep Bejor a little more under our control. Oh, I'm glad the science division reported a breakthrough. Whatever they did just tipped us over into negative food. I'm glad I started putting some farms down before then. All right, well, great. That's good. Um, research for mining stations. We do have a lot of those. Uh, but research speed up is actually more important right now. So I'm glad that you're still taking priority. 
because as much as I would love to get extra research from mining stations, research speed in general is what we need. We're, we're taking a real long time to just get anywhere with this right now. It's kind of what I'm waiting for. I'm also waiting for more food to show up. We lowered it by one. Uh, how close are any of you to being finished? Did I put one down there? I think I might have. Either way, doesn't matter now. Bajor, I know I told to put down a couple of agricultural districts. But they're after the labor camp. Ooh, we bounced back up. Okay, whew. It, it, we are in the midst. <laughs> it's just barely hanging on there. All right, wait for those minerals to go back up. That's building a star base. You are surveying that system, which I guess doesn't really have a whole lot in it, does it? I mean, it can't. It can't if there's really only, what, two planets in here? Oh, wow. This is a really crappy system. Class Y, Class Y. Yeah, nothing good for us there. Where is another construction ship? We're almost done claiming this area. I think once it's done, come on, finish up with your researching. Great, it just finished doing that, so go ahead and build an outpost there. You're almost done with your starbase. Uh, F-type. Not as important. G-type, not as important. Trinary, go survey that trinary star system. We're spreading out away from everybody else as much as possible, pretty much. That's that's our main goal, is to get away from them. Uh, Einstein Trollson Ring asking for a hand. Oh, well, sure, go ahead. I don't see how that would hurt doing anything else. Um, we could decide to colonize that. That's going to be really energy and food intensive, though. Mm, yeah, 2,000 food. 150, God. Mm. Yeah, we should. We, we should. We should take over Seltris. Um, you can just keep the name Seltris 3. The senior physicist who called for our aid in researching Einstein Schwolzen ring has insisted on spearheading the recon mission. He is taking a cat named Nebula along for the ride. Fortunately, the presence aboard the cellular caused a disturbance on the bridge, eventually leading the lieutenant commander to lose control. Oh, that's good. Suddenly caught a cloud of mentory on gas. Late today, just shredding enough material trap. That's what luckily Tor was able to make use of the momentum. Oh, good. Good. I was really hoping. I was really hoping. Hoping? Hoping. 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 I was really hoping that that wasn't going to be a bad thing. <laughs> All right. We ride, but we didn't die. Senior medical officer believes the unusual stellar cloud created could be harmful to humanoids, but beneficial to animals. Well, go ahead. Bajoran Kapar received a distress signal. Captain Dijon of the Sanction, an Ornaran freighter. Captain reports losing control of the helm on his way to neighboring planet Brekka. Misaligned. Not situation. All attempts to lock onto the. pulled the ship safely to fail. Unable to maintain a steady course. Hmm. Well, I mean. We could be aboard. It just gives us free unity, but do I care enough? Do I care enough? Well, uh, no, that, that's just the Cardassian way is no, no, I don't care. An unexpected cargo was retrieved from the wreckage. How unforeseeable. It is unforeseeable. It appears to contain a medicine originating from a plant. Upon conducting the medicine, it was found to be a highly addictive narcotic. Oh. Because the, in any case, the plant pounds value and we would do well by signing to the highest bidder. Well, that's great. I'm glad I didn't help them then. That means that uh, it was probably a good thing that we didn't help them. <laughs> Those were drug traders, see? The Cardassian mind is never outwitted. It also said we unlocked something on Cardassia Prime, but only Cardassia Prime. So, Subspace Tetrion Collider. This turns energy into Tetrions. Oh, well that's great. We've barely been building those up at all. That's good. Oh, I, no, don't do that. I was going to actually say we should get a memorial monument down because I felt like that was going to be more helpful than anything else. Our military has released an official statement detailing their search for a missing cargo of Felicium. Ah, this is the narcotic that we just uncovered. Some of the secretly went rogue. Instead of selling the cargo, they were able to synthetically recreate the substance. Hmm. Yes, safeguard that cargo. We cannot risk you doing anything stupid with that. Fortune. God, this is coming fast and strong, isn't it? 
Business is booming for the Bajoran ship Kepnar, and it's unclear if Asha has safeguarded the cargo as ordered. Word of the missing Felicium has traveled far and wide, and reports of a rogue Kardashian Union ship have surfaced. It appears the crew is now wanted for property theft, and our own military has denounced the ship's illicit necrotics business in a statewide speech. According to the chaos, it used the prophets. Oh! Really now? Really? Which one is that? Where did where is that ship even at? Dukat, your first mission may not be <laughs> your first mission may not be doing that at all. All right, well, great. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out on that now. Our analysts were baffled when they discovered a towering mass of decaying humanoid clones. Oh, that's oh. Hmm. One such group known as the Mariposa Colony. Initial investigation suggests that replicative fading caused the cone. Well, oh, isn't this the ship that's, <laughs> wait a minute, isn't this the ship that's high on drugs right now? What the heck are you guys doing? The Bajoran ship Capbar, I don't even see that one. No, that's fleets. Is it not showing me my science ships? I'm gonna have to take another look. This is the science, this is the science ship that's high on drugs right now. So what are, what on earth are you guys doing? Um, well, yeah, go ahead and science is always more important. What are you guys doing over here? It's you. Oh no. When looking around for resources, one of our field experts accidentally shifted a dislocated circuit, awakening the mass of clones. Hundreds of synthetic eyes clicked open, eager to scan our every move. Uh, unable to stand. Thank God they can't stand. And the clones have instead extended their rusty index fingers to point at a nearby shipwreck. The word Clonopolis is painted in crimson red on a broken door, surrounded by twisted symbology. Well. Let's search the shipwreck. There's no re there's no time to waste. Our animals eventually discovered many return letters describing desperate pleas to be rescued from Felton 1 as well as rejected citizenship applications. And finally, a classified document detailing procedures for bodily modifications. Times the last page, she learns that clones eventually started a cult centered around hunting any humanoid survivors. Well, that's good. Hmm. Harvest organic body parts for the clones to use in the hopes of slowly... Oh, that's good. Hmm. Take no risks and dissemble the clones piece by piece or condemn them. Well, we would gain a lot of unity from that, but we're just going to go ahead and dismember them. There's no reason to let them stick around. Well, this is quite a breakthrough. <laughs> uh, chromatic Vortex, upon beaming aboard the shuttle in orbit around Gabura B, which is over here, our away team was greeted by a group of transparent humanoid life forms, guarding what seems to be a dormant chromatic vortex. Uh, Revenant Troyolic Energy. Despite being technologically advanced, the life forms are nonetheless stuck in our galaxy and their future depends on the Selegar. Well, we could spend energy credits, but we don't really want to do that right now. Let's just... Let's go ahead and detain them for study. Uh, we could form a research agreement with them. And this is good because their fleet power is overwhelming. Uh, yeah, I wonder why wonder why it's overwhelming right now. And you are busy improving that with them. I don't want to open my borders to them, and I don't want to give them a trade deal. So there's nothing good there. They are inferior, but I bet if we invaded them, that would rapidly, rapidly change. And they're hostile with us, which is not great either. I should want to head that off at the pass, but eh, it's not worth it. I'm waiting to, at some point, maybe I could... <laughs> Maybe I could at some point get them as an ally, which we're almost there. We're almost, almost there. I know having the Romulans as an ally is no, like, sure thing, but... We can get the Tholians and the Romulans on our side. No matter what the Klingons or Federation do, they won't be able to stand up against us. Ooh! The rogue BNJ Bajoran ship Kapar has been tracked down by our military. Uh, gee whiz, they're in the same system, I'd be surprised who have asked that the crew relinquish the stolen Felicium effective immediately. After a successful year-long trade of the narcotic, it seems their adventure could be coming to an end. Unfortunately, the crew has apparently used their remaining trade profits 
improve offensive op adaptation of their ship. Hmm. Well. Yeah, battle stations. There's nothing I can do against that. I don't know why. Where Where is this even happening? But the vessel has unexpectedly been able to match our fleet's military prowess. The ship so far managed to evade our phaser beams and deflected them back towards... Deflected them back? What? All right, exile him, I guess. Yeah, well, the cap bar looks like it's still intact to me, but whatever. Ducat, uh, his first outing, his first outing, he lost. Well, good job, Ducat. What a what a great guy you are. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of lifespan. Ooh, but you have a better research speed. Well, Morsar, hopefully you will not become a drug dealer if I put you in charge of the drug dealing ship. That is now the Bajoran ship NARC. Whatever NARC stands for uh, is up to you to figure out. <laughs> but I want to keep track of that one now. If I ever see the cap bar come up again, I'm going to at least know this time what's going on with it. Ooh, what's this? Share warp agreement. Oh, that's great. Because what that does is, yeah, now anywhere the Romulans go, I can go. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I love that. So this is where it becomes neat. Um... I think what we need right now is we're going to want to take Conquest. It would be nice to take, you know, something like Commerce or Research because those are helpful in development, especially because the building costs is to go down. But I think we're going to want to take Conquest just because that's what we're about to start doing more en masse is Conquest. Grekor, you going back from the Klingon Empire to Gemini. Ooh! The, BN, the Bajoran ship Nark <laughs> was attacked by a hostile structure while researching the transwarp hub system. Is that what it is? I thought it was just a black hole. All right. Initial reports show that the crew's brave actions may have disabled or possibly destroyed whatever it was that attacked them. Our long-range scans reveal the... Yeah, if I can speak. Our long-range scans reveal the structure's wreckage is likely still present in the transwarp hub system. While survivors are being debriefed, we should locate this evidence and analyze it. So what? That's right there, I guess? has one science and one military ship. Okay, well, I've got to... I ultimately will have to get there as soon as possible then. Sure, survey that. And then my other guy... There it is. The BNJ NARC is finally back. So go ahead and survey that system, and we'll hopefully be able to get there before anyone else does. So we're going to go ahead and declare war. That's, that's all I can do. Ooh, I've been triggered... All right, see? That's why I keep these guys around. We are officially at war. We are officially at war with the Trill. We're going to take him down. I do need wherever that spy went. I had an extra spy sitting around somewhere. Ah, you. Counter espionage, please. <laughs> they have accepted our war goal. Good. Time project. Yep, that's just that. And the CDS Dirac, I think that was our spy ship. Yep, it was. All right, well, no time like the present. Move on in. Move on in. I don't have any other ships to back me up, though. If they if this fails, that's my entire fleet right there. Have invaded Trill. Hopefully they will do decent enough. I would be really upset if we somehow lost this. Yep, there they go. Oh, did they leave? I think they just straight up left the system. I think they did. They just straight up left. Okay. Well, by all means, go attack that one. Yeah, we won. We they either they either completely like vanished or we just won outright. Either way, I need you guys as soon as possible to move over. Why you can't is beyond me though. Oh, nope, there they are. They did warp out of the system, and they are back again. 15 to our 727, though. I don't have a whole lot of concerns. Ooh. The balance of power is unfortunately not tricking the way I want. Uh, yeah, it hit their defense platforms. That's all I really could do right now. Somehow the balance of power is not going the way I want it. Oh. 
Oh, that's good. Well, I'm gonna have to handle that at some point, too. Ooh, Damar. Yep, come on board. Ducat, go ahead and head on in here. I really need us to be able to... Yep. I need us to be able to take this world, too. I just wanted to get down their home world as quick as possible. Yes, support their families again. It's <laughs> the Trill Assembly. The population is losing its taste of conflict. Protests are erupting across the world, calling for surrender. Some even go so far as to question the validity of their own side's narrative. See? This is what sending that propaganda spy in for was most important about. We have destroyed the enemy's will to fight. Well. Well. Yeah, that's inside a rebellion. They don't need to do anything. A science ship just came in here, I guess. I don't really count that as an invasion, though. I mean, it's not really an invasion of our space. Why you don't want to move into this system is beyond me, though. I mean, like, I would love you to. It'd be great if you could. But I guess you've just decided that it's not worth it to move in. Like, you have my armies. I need my armies to attack. Is it just beyond your power, I guess? Whatever, fine. Go ahead and orbit the planet, I guess, until they figure out why they just want to sit there and do nothing. Just, yeah, literally, our entire north is just all that. No wonder I've been spreading out this way. <laughs> there was no point. Smaller nations are up there. All right, well, are you guys... Do you guys want to send surrender yet? No, don't settle for the status quo. Why, why can't I demand their surrender, honestly? Well, we've established a colony on Seltrus 3, despite the fact that I got a notification a while ago that uh, our colony had been disappeared. <laughs> but I guess, whatever, we actually ended up establishing it anyways. Just goes to show how great we are as Cardassian people, honestly. Oh, well that's interesting. I guess they're just stuck in... The Hura system, for some reason, you guys are just stuck there. They don't, they can't move. My biggest transport fleet is just stuck there and can't, can't move anywhere. It's stuck here for some reason. Did I lose like a, a, a star base here? No, the, the Hura system is just off limits now. Huh. Well, that's. That's one for the... Cannot build a station. I'm not asking you to build a station. They're, they're just stuck there. My biggest... Huh. Okay. Well, good job, guys. You've officially screwed me over on this war a little bit. I'll just build a couple new armies. They don't have to be great, I guess. Ivers report that the structure drew their ship in with a tractor beam. Hostile... Only, yeah, yeah, probably probably nothing big. We're going to try, and if I can, then I'll just send the rest of them to the Calendra system. Uh, I don't see, yeah, all they've got is planetary guard defenses. We should be able to take this world pretty quick and end, end the trill before they began anyways. And then we've got one seriously mutinous guy over here who just decided that Hura was going to be his own little fiefdom forever. So, I'm going to have to eventually disable him. And you're a smaller fleet, and you guys have all that. Go ahead and move over to Claystron. You're the only guys who want to. Uh, data from our initial long-range shan show that Seltras 3 was either partially or entirely devastated around some 20 to 30 years ago. So much time has passed now that the trail has gone cold. It appears that we are too late. Many of our own have been lost. Huh. Well... It seems to be fine now. It's It established itself as a colony, so there's nothing I can really do. Ooh! Cardassian blood has paid for every centimeter of the Trill assembly we have taken. Now the final push begins. The longer we wait to send our forces to occupy Trill, the greater the chances will be of resisting us. Though it will cause significant casualties, we must seize this opportunity and land our forces there. Send an occupation force to Trill. We've successfully done that. Great. Ducat can go on a victory trip of the system. We have won. They are an they are now an occupied state. Great. Land all the fleets if you can. I mean, 
you don't seem particularly interested in doing that now. Uh, there are no armies in orbit. That's because they've landed. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> so we've got some Bajoran Pops there now. We have won the war against Trill. They are now an occupied... Can you move now? Now that I've built you a starbase. No, you just don't want to. Okay, how how do I murder you? I'm going to assimilate them. Yeah, right about now. You can guarantee their independence, but it doesn't matter, my friend. There's some physics research, energy from mining stations, and eh, not as important. Migration treaty, well, good for you guys. Uh, do a phaser bank thing and a new tradition. Well, our conquest has just started. Ship starting experience. Ah, uh, yeah, go ahead. Might makes right. But that's about it for today, I guess. So, that's where we're going to leave it for now. What will happen next time, I don't know. We're probably going to expand and take over those smaller powers again over here with the anarchy and the autocracy, but I think that's about it. I think we've expanded the Union a good bit today. We finally won our first war against the Trill. We've encountered something strange over in that black hole sector. We'll find out what that is later. That's going to do it today, guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, drop a sub. I'll talk to you all later. Bye! Well, isn't anyone going to welcome me home? Heroes get welcomed home, Ducats, not failures. Or have you forgotten that under your leadership, the Dominion nearly lost this war? As I recall, Weiyun, you were standing right by my side, agreeing with every decision I made. 